In this video, we're going to look at installing the LEGO Mindstorms NXT software. The NXT software is what we use to develop our programs uh, using the programming constructs, the sequence, the decision, and the loop in order to make our robot do advanced tasks, or simple tasks for that matter. Um, before we get started installing that though, what I want to do is take a look at the TaskBot and I want to show you how to run a simple program on the TaskBot just to make sure that uh, the motors are connected correctly, the battery is in, in properly, and uh, everything is ready to go. So the NXT by itself, without plugging this into the computer, uh, has the ability to run very simple programs. So what you're going to want to do to turn on the NXT is to press the orange button and when it comes on it'll make a noise so that means that the batteries are in the right way and what I want to do is I want to use these left and right buttons and I want to scroll to something called NXT programming and I hit the orange button to select it and it's going to show me a list of how it thinks the motors are connected for its internal program so this has nothing to do with programming with the uh, computer we're just going to program this directly uh, and it looks like the motors are on B and C which is how we had them wired up in the taskbot construction so I'm going to go ahead and say OK by hitting the orange and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to it allows you to have five different actions and it's very selective about which actions you can actually use uh, just to to make a more consistent program uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose to go forward five and that means five seconds Then I'm gonna do an empty and then I'm gonna scroll over and go backwards five and then I'm gonna do empty and then I'm gonna do a stop so very simple program. So if this works, it'll just go forward and then come back and stop. And that's going to show that my motors are connected up correctly and that I don't have any mechanical issues like tire rub or anything like that. So when I'm ready to go, I'm just going to, it's on the run, it's selected as run, and I just hit this orange button. And I'll go ahead and set this down and we'll see, we'll see if this works. So I hit run, it goes forward, then it comes back, and it worked. Okay, so that showed me that I didn't have any tire rub, the batteries are in correctly, and I have my wires set up correctly. And what I'm do ready to do now is actually start programming this with a little bit more advanced program. And so I need to install the NXT software. So before you don't plug in the NXT uh, brick yet. So when you plug this in, it's going to try to install a, uh, a USB driver so that it can download it. And what I mean by plugging it in is you don't plug it in with this USB cable that comes with the... Uh, the kit. Uh, what we want to do is we want to install the software so that the the NXT driver is on your computer and then when you plug it in when it tries to automatically install the USB drivers it'll find the correct driver. So here's what we're going to do. There are a couple ways to get the software. The first is that you get a CD that comes with your kit and when you plug that in what's going to happen is that it will automatically perform an auto run so <clears throat> when you plug it in you'll see something that comes up like this and what you would simply do is you just press English and it would continue with the installation. If it for some reason did not come up what you could do is is you can just look into the file into the files themselves so if I open up the actual CD in, in Windows Explorers for example you'll see all the files and you can run directly you can either run auto run.exe what that does is it brings up that automatic run window that we just saw to install or you can run setup.exe directly <clears throat> and that'll actually bypass the uh, auto run screen and it'll go and you can do next so we'll cancel that just for a second uh, just in case you didn't have software so let's say you have a robot but you, d you didn't it didn't come in a kit that had the software you can actually download it from Lego and if you go to mindstorms.lego.com what you'll see is you come up to the Mindstorms homepage and if you go over to downloads you're going to see a variety of different downloads so you see like applications for the EV3 you'll see all sorts of stuff and I'm gonna scroll down until I get to the NXT download 
section and you have the ability to do a download on the NXT software, NXT firmware and there's a phantom driver. What we're interested in is this software download. So if I click on that it's going to download what is known as a ISO file and it's a large file. It's about 650 megabytes so it takes a while to download. But what an ISO file is, is it is the file that is used to burn a DVD. Okay, so the install DVD that should have come with a kit, <clears throat> you can create that if you'd like, and the way you do that is you do it with this ISO file. So what you do is you download the ISO file, and then you double click on it, and it'll bring up your CD burner, and then you put in a blank DVD, and <clears throat> it will burn it. So that's how you would create another install disk. If your computer doesn't have a DVD drive, which a lot of the new laptops don't, you can actually go out and you can get, a, there's a variety of free programs which will allow you to uh, burn an ISO image is what they call it to a USB thumb drive. So what I ended up doing is I used a little program called ISO to USB. So I just went out and looked for freeware software. And this was a, this was a little, little program that I found where I can provide it an ISO file. I tell it where the USB flash drive is and I just hit burn and what it does is it creates it allows the thumb drive to basically look like a CD drive so that's in the case that you don't have a CD drive so I have that and that's where my install files are okay so anyway let's now install the software so here's what I want to do I'm gonna go ahead and bring up let's go ahead and just go double click on setup and that'll bring up the first screen and it's gonna install everything I need it's got the software and it's got the the 64-bit driver and I'm just gonna hit next and then I'm gonna accept the license and say next and it says are you ready to go and I'm gonna say next so now this process is gonna run for a while I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause this video really quick and let this run it'll take it'll take a few minutes and uh, then we'll resume once it's at the finish screen Okay, so that took about three minutes to get to the uh, finish screen. So I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. Notice it says re register your NXT product. That's an optional thing. Uh, we'll skip that. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and hit finish on that. Now what it's done is it's installed the Lego Mindstorm application and it's also created a created a shortcut on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and load the Lego Mindstorm uh, software or run it. And here's what I see. So this is kind of the front panel. What you'll see is a, a way to create new projects. You'll see over here on the right, you'll see different construction plans. There's a help menu. And then once you create a project, you can drop in a bunch of different programming constructs down here. But we need to connect the NXT to the computer in order to install the USB drivers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over and I'm going to plug in the USB cable into the NXT into my tax bot and what will happen is you'll see the little bubble in the bottom right if you're using Windows that says installing device driver and it's gonna work for a few minutes uh, installing the driver and when it is done it will come up and say successfully installed it'll say Lego Mindstorm NXT successfully installed. And that means that I can actually download directly to the task bot. So what we're gonna go into the details of this uh, programming interface in a different videos, but for right now I wanna just make sure that I can download to the task bot and make sure that uh, everything installed correctly. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this new screen right here and it says create new program. I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna say test and it, that's the name of the project project or name of the program and that'll actually when you download it it'll show up on the taskbot and I'm gonna hit go and it just gives you a blank screen here where you can drop in these programming constructs and what I want you to do is go up to the the round the common the common screen which is the uh, green circle and go over here to these two gears and this is a move instruction and so this is a it's a sequence construct so it's one one task in a sequence or one operation in a sequence and if you click on it what happens is you see the options that are available to you so down here you'll see that ports uh, B and C are being used for the motors uh, the direction is positive uh, or is forward uh, and then there's some steering controls we don't really care about that what I really want to do is I just want to make sure that I can download something and make this move so let's go over here for duration leave it at one and, and go for 
change it from rotations to seconds. So now I have a program. I've written a program. And if I come over to this, these controls right here, what I can do is I can either hit play and it will download and run, or I can come over here and just say download. Now the danger of download and run is that the cable's connected to the task bot. So if I do this, it is going to download and run, and I got to be careful that it doesn't run off the table here connected. So there it goes, <laughs> and downloaded, and it took off. And this be, this is a dangerous command because if you're doing it on a table, especially and you have this cable on here, and especially if it's hooked to a laptop, you can actually drive the robot off of the desk and it'll yank your laptop. <laughs> so you gotta be a little bit careful. But more importantly, we just downloaded a program onto this thing and it ran. Okay, so now let's look at a better way to do it. Let's go over here and let's do the download button. So it's gonna do that same process. It beeps when it's complete. And now I have my task bot with a program on it. So I'll go ahead and disconnect the cable so that it's safe. And what you'll see on the screen now is gonna be, there's these programs on here and you'll see that one of them is called test. And that was the name of our program. So all I do to run it is I press the orange button and it'll run. So now this time what I can do is I can hit run and it goes forward for one second and I have done it. So the, I have now successfully installed the software and I've installed the USB driver for the taskbot or the NXT brick and I'm ready to start developing more advanced programs. Okay, so I'm going to plug this back in. If you wanted to, uh, they recommend that sometimes you should update the firmware on these. So the firmware, you can think of the firmware as it's almost like the operating system of the NXT brick itself. And then the program that we create and download is the, uh, that's just the program that it's executing. So that's what controls it. But the firmware, sometimes they find issues with the NXT brick and they'll create a new firmware program. So if it's working and you don't have any issues there's no sense updating the firmware just continue to go until you run into some issue but if you want to check to make sure that you don't need to or see if you should update the firmware you come up to this menu tools and then you say update NXT firmware and what you'll see in here is available firmware files and what you can do here is then you can uh, you can hit download and it'll locate the NXT prepare the NXT and then download it so you go ahead and just would click this to see if it would work so let's see, <clears throat> locating NXT, preparing NXT, and then it'll download. Okay, so I'm going to cancel it here just so we don't spend a lot of time. But basically that'll update the thing and then everything's ready to go. Okay, so that right there is how you install the software. And at this point what we've done <clears throat> is we have constructed a robot and we have also installed the software. <clears throat> so it's not only to, that we've constructed it, but we actually have the ability to create programs now. So at this point, we can put another little check in here, which says we're done with constructing a robot, and we can move on to the next module, which looks at locomotion, of how these servo motors actually work, what's the, what's the electrical theory behind it, and then we'll start entering some simple programs and look at the constructs that we can use in order to make the task bot do some interesting tasks.